What's up guys? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at one pro tip that I believe can save you hours in practice mode. What's up guys? My name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about trying to help you save time and still get great results from practice mode. And here's how we're going to do it. Essentially, when you go into practice mode, one of the things, one of the most common mistakes people make is that they they try to lab several different formations and they all ultimately they forget the goal. The goal in offense is not to have the prettiest offense. The goal in offense is to have the most effective offense that gets results. OK, uh, I think of it. Uh, it's kind of the Green Bay Packers versus the Dallas Cowboys analogy uh, in the 60s. Vince Lombardi was a more run heavy uh, power sweep offense wasn't pretty ran about six plays but won a lot of championships whereas the Dallas Cowboys and Tom Landry Tom Landry was all about engineering and methodical and systems and things like that and the only problem with that was it was too complicated for the players to remember and it ended up they, they could never get over the hump not quite as well as the Packers could so in today's video we're gonna give you one tip and here it is the pro tip is is essentially this this phrase right here you want to have simplicity on the far side of complexity simplicity on the far side of complexity and what that basically means is you want to try a lot of stuff sure okay go ahead but ultimately you want to get down to the critical two to three to four plays that help you so for example if, if i was going to run bunch tight end now why would i run bunch tight end there's there several questions that that go unanswered and the problem is that what people don't realize if we looked at bunch tight end just for a minute here pa all across uh, and if we also looked at curl flat corner and tight end cor we looked at all these plays and then we went to the bunch week there's not that big a difference okay there's there's just not there's not that big of a difference and there are different subtle differences. There are subtle differences. You can have basically the same scheme. And most people will have the same exact offensive scheme. They will do it from different formations. Um, most people will actually end up running one formation at the pro level. But what you'll see is you'll see some guys come to the tournament with bunch tight end. Some people will run bunch weak. Some people will run uh, single back, uh, single back ace pair twins. Some will run single back bunch. Some... There's just all these different things that people can do. Split close is an option. I mean, just all sorts of things. Some run this Y trips. The teaching point and the pro tip that I want to share with you today is figure out, you have to ask yourself the question, why am I using this formation? If the answer is I am using this formation because it sets me up with, with solid plays that I have labbed and practiced thousands of times that are only in this formation and none other, then stick with that formation. What you will find is most of the formations have the same exact plays or concepts. What you need to do is find the formation that you can look at and you say, okay, so for example, if you looked at the bunch tight end, PA all across, they have a big post route to the middle of the field. If you came down and looked at curl flat corner, they have a, a corner route, a deep corner route to that far side of the field. So those two plays in conjunction, you already know they're going to work. You already know they're going to work. The question is, can the corner route get open in zone? And then you would go into practice mode and you would search it and you would look. So if we just went in here, uh, we, we call this play and we would just throw this. We would just throw this post route, see, see if we could use or catch it. As you can see, you can. As you can see, you can. Okay. So, so anyways, the reason I'm saying that is because this formation, it, it really exemplifies what a true power encounter is. You can use hot routes for the rest. You have one primary route that